This short video will explain how to set up our lamps for use with our many VMS integrations. There are two ways of doing this. You can use our Discoman software or the LAMP web interface. So we shall go into Discoman and discover our lamps. So our lamps are in local mode by default. So each lamp has a photo cell and external input. And in local mode, if it gets dark or if these external input wires are shorted, the lamp will automatically respond to these triggers. Now, this isn't the correct mode for VMS integrations. The lamp needs to be in VMS or VMS plus local mode. In VMS mode, the lamp will only respond to VMS commands. In VMS plus local, the lamp will respond to VMS commands, but will also react automatically to its photo cell and external input triggers. So we're just going to show you firstly how we would set VMS mode on a lamp via Disco Man. So if we select one of our lamps, and click on config, you'll see we have a lamp mode here on VMS. Since we're in Disco Man, we're going to do this for both of our lamps here. So if we click on config, change the mode to VMS, create the tasks, and just run them through. And they've come through all right there. We're then going to do that for hybrid as well, which needs to be done separately because it has the additional light type parameter. So it has a different config dialog. So we're going to say VMS, create tasks, and just run that through. Now this can only be done when the lamp has the default credentials. So once you've set the credentials on the lamp, you can no longer set the config via Disco Man. We're going to use that credentials feature to set the credentials for the lamp on all lamps here and just run that through. So now when we show you the second way of setting the mode, we won't have to change the password on the lamp. So for instance, if we take the i6 here, we will show you the second method of changing the mode. So if we log into the lamp with the password that we've just set through Disco Man, and under the settings page, you'll see a lamp mode combo box. So for instance, we may change this to VMS plus local, and then we just hit save at the bottom and that mode has changed via the web interface. Once the Raytech Vision plugin web package has been downloaded, we can unzip that and navigate to the directory containing the installer. On double clicking that, we can just agree the terms and license conditions and hit install. Once that's done, we can open the Raytech Avigilon integration. We then expand the resources branch and hit the monitor. We can then select the site we wish to log into. And we initially test, so username and password are good. We then hit save and then in a few seconds time, you will see the site appear on the left hand side. On expand the branch, you'll then find all the alarms. To set up our lamps, all we do is we click on the lamps branch here. If we click on default, we'll see we have a default group. We can add a new one in here, for instance, test. Click on that, and then we simply click discover. And that will pick in any lamps on the network. So we can select those and add the selected lamps, after which they will then appear in the tree. If we have hybrid lamps, it's exactly the same. We'll just use the default group. And if we hit discover, and the list is filled up by hybrid here, select those and simply add those to the group and you'll see them in the tree. Through the Raytech Avigilon plugin, you can feed alarms back into Avigilon or you can react to alarms in the plugin. We'll first show feeding an alarm back into Avigilon. So we have these a few of these set up as external software events. So for instance, for cell night, uh, we just need to tick that we are going to route all events to a Vigilon. Then we just select one of our lamps and the photo cell night event 
and add that in there. And then that alarm will be triggered when the W4 sees that it's night time. Another thing we can do if we head to the group is we can actually react to alarms triggering in a, a vigilant control center. So for instance, we have a motion alarm. We may wish to bring the light on 100% for one minute. And there's a few options there. So you have two on triggers. We have a deterrent trigger, which has various modes and speeds. And we have boost and an off trigger, which we usually associate with photo cell day. Uh, this can be done at the group or the lamp level. And on the hybrid section, there is a small change in that you select the wavelength type. So we'll say a motion alarm, and then we can select infrared or white light. And one final thing for control is you can actually take instant control of a group of lamps or individually. So if we find or if we click on the group, right click, find the context menu, and we can change the powers, we can send it into deterrent. And if we click on a lamp, we'll also see the same options there, but also the ability to open the lamp web pages. Hybrid is quite similar. If we just right click on here, we'll see that the only difference is the powers are hidden behind these infrared and white light options, but very similar to the single wavelength there as well.